Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we are going to be discussing geometric mean. So first, let's talk about the arithmetic mean. This is just when we take the average of two numbers, so you add them together and divide by two. The geometric mean is a number x between two positive numbers a and b that satisfy the following relationship. a over x equals x over b, where x is the means, it's always the same number, and a and b are the extremes. When solving this, you will cross multiply, so then x times x equals a times b, so x squared equals ab. Then to cancel out the square, we'll take the square root of both sides, and so x is equal to the square root of ab. Now let's try an example. Find the geometric mean of 12 and 27. So 12 and 27 are going to be our a and b, so I'm going to set up my relationship. 12 over x equals x over 27. I'm going to cross multiply and I'll have x squared equals 12 times 27. So then I'm going to need to take the square root of both sides. So the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of 324. And so x is equal to 18. Now try this example on your own. Find the geometric mean of 18 and 54. So you can either set up the proportion in the two fractions or skip the cross multiplication step and just use the formula x equals the square root of ab. So if we plug in 18 for a and 54 for b, we get that x is equal to the square root of 18 times 54. So x is equal to the square root of 972. I can break that down into primes, and I get 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And I have three couples that get married, and so outside the house I have 2 times 3 times 3, that's 18, and then I have one 3 left inside the house, so x is equal to 18 square roots of 3. Now, in a right triangle, the altitude from the right angle to the hypotenuse divides the hypotenuse into two segments creating relationships between the legs, altitude, hypotenuse, and then the two segments of the hypotenuse. So here I've labeled my picture. My legs are normal, the two perpendicular sides, and then the altitude in this case is the altitude from my right angle to my hypotenuse. Now first we're going to talk about the relationship the altitude has with some of the other pieces. So here I've drawn the picture like I had before, except now I've labeled my legs, altitude, and the hypotenuse in different variable parts. The altitude theorem has the following relationship. One piece of the hypotenuse over the altitude is equal to the altitude over the second piece of the hypotenuse. So in terms of this picture, that would be C over E equals E over D. We also have a leg relationship, which we will call the leg theorem, that satisfies this proportion. So the whole hypotenuse over the leg is equal to the leg over the adjacent piece of hypotenuse. So there are two relationships that can be formed depending on which leg that you choose. So in the case that we choose leg A, then we will have whole hypotenuse F over our leg A equals A over the piece of the hypotenuse closest to A that's adjacent to A is C. So F over A equals A over C. And if we use leg B, then we will have F over B equals B over the adjacent piece D. So that's the piece, the piece of the hypotenuse closest to B. Now let's look at this problem. So we have W, X, Y, and Z that we need to find. Hopefully the first thing you see is that X should be pretty easy since we know the whole hypotenuse is 9 and one segment is 3. That means X has to be 6. Now that I know my whole hypotenuse, it'll be easy for me to find my legs using the leg theorem. We know that for leg theorem, we have whole hypotenuse over leg equals leg over adjacent piece of hypotenuse. I'm going to start with w. So 9 over w equals w over 6 because 6 is the closest hypotenuse segment to w. I'll cross multiply to find w squared equals 9 times 6, which means w squared equals 54. So w equals the square root of 54. And then after simplification, that means w equals 3 root 6. Now pause the video and see if you can set up the leg theorem for y. We know that leg theorem says whole hypotenuse over leg equals leg over the piece adjacent to the leg. So in this case, 9 over y equals y over 3. 
When I cross multiply, that means y squared equals 9 times 3, so y squared equals 27. So that means y equals the square root of 27. And then after I simplify, I find that y is equal to 3 root 3. And last, since z is the altitude, we're going to be using the altitude theorem, which we know says piece of hypotenuse over altitude equals altitude over the second piece of the hypotenuse. So in this case, that means 6 over z equals z over 3. So z squared equals 6 times 3, so z squared equals 18. So z equals the square root of 18, and so that means z equals 3 square roots of 2 after it's been simplified. Now try this one on your own and we will discuss it in class. As a hint, I would start with y and try to use the altitude theorem. And that is everything I have for you this evening. See you in class.